So what does this and this have to do with this and this? Stay tuned. Everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Paul Knapp coming to you once again from the man cave and it's been a while. It's been a while since I did any type of conversions and if you've been following my channel lately I've been spending a lot of time on the Monday live stream and I've been working on my customized boxed sets but I've got something new coming at you. So let's get started. Okay so what led me to start this huge project? Well, it was this guy here, Huckster Labs, okay? If you guys know Sean Huckster, and if you see my last video on his gracious donation to my channel, you will know that he sent me a uh, backpack, and he also sent me his laser cannon to include in one of my customized sets, and I thought, man, how cool is that, since it's red and black, to go with... Baron Ironblood. So I decided to make a Baron Ironblood custom set. Well, as I started working on that, I thought he also sent me these clips which go to the tower. Now I have a complete tower in a box. But I was at the antique store and I came across this one. It was in really good condition, no broken tabs, had all the pieces from what it looked like and they were only asking I think 80 bucks and I said you know what I think Baron Ironblood and the Red Shadows could use their own training tower so we're talking changing colors to black and red to match the other stuff and oh by the way found this on eBay for 25 bucks and yeah I think Baron Ironblood needs a vehicle so this is gonna be one of the hugest conversions I've ever done I could probably do a video on each one of these <laughs> but I'm gonna combine them all and we are going to make a red shadows uh, base camp if you will so first thing we need to do is do some cleaning I think the easiest one to tackle is this one here now if you've seen some of my older videos you know I've done three or four of these in the past so this one is this one is roached out, man. <laughs> this one is, which is great, man. I love it. I love to see the kids actually played with this stuff, and it didn't uh, sit in an attic somewhere. But, man, I don't think I've ever seen one this bad. So we're going to start on this one. I'm going to take this one apart, clean it all up, take it outside, let it dry, and then work on the uh, paint on this one. I think what I'm going to do is uh, do the uh, red for the top portion and then underneath is going to be all black. I made a black underneath one with a gray and it looked really cool. So I'm hoping that the red and black will be a good match for Mr. Ironblood here. And uh, yeah. And I also went online and found the decals. Now I'm not going to be using these decals. Let's say G.I. Joe. I'll show you what I'm doing for that. So let's get started. Man, talk about Mississippi mud. I don't know where this kid played with this thing at, but this is the filthiest one I've ever had. Again, if you've seen my earlier videos, you know I don't take the axles out. It's just too hard to replace. Some of those are rusted in there and really don't want to spend another 50, 60 bucks on replacing axles. And so, and I'm going to be painting the whole bottom of this black anyhow, so it's not going to really matter. Um, but man, there's so much and there's still dirt in here god anyway i've probably spent an hour and a half just trying to clean this thing one of these axles i don't know where the kid played with it but there was i thought it was a long hair it was actually fishing line fishing line got all caught up in there man i had about 30 feet of fishing line wrapped around one of the axles so so we're letting this dry out in the sun and i'm gonna buff it sand it down a little bit and rough it up and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, paint it
Okay, so I am ready to start doing the photo shoot for the boxes that I made for this set. As you can see, all the decals are now on for the ATV. However, it's the Red Shadow ATV. And I'm gonna put links to all this in the video where I got the uh, 3D printed items, where I got the decals from, etc. I have this finished and painted. I'm just waiting for decals to come in for the top of that, for coming in from uh, Greg Brown at Cotswold Collectibles. So hopefully that'll arrive this week, but I think we're ready to at least set up for the photo shoot so I can get these uh, box covers finished. You can see we're in the man cave right here. I just have a blue sheet for the backdrop. Hopefully uh, I won't have to iron that if you see. And I'm just gonna use a uh, card table, put it in front of that with the grass mat. Now somebody had asked me about the grass mat. You know, if you're taking pictures in the wild and you're using regular grass from the yard, you do realize that is uh, one to one ratio grass. So it's a little big for GI Joes. So what you wanna do is make yourself or get yourself something like this. This is a grass mat that was made from a friend of mine. And uh, it's about eight foot long, I believe. I usually use it with my toy soldiers, but the thickness of that grass looks pretty good next to uh, the boots of the uh, one six scale Joes. So I tend to use this in all my photography. So if you know how to get those or make one of those for yourself, you, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the tower and right in front of that and we're going to do this photo shoot inside because it's going to take a couple days i believe to get the uh, photos that i'm looking for and i don't want it outside so i want to be able to control it so uh and then i will show you uh everything that goes with this set Okay, so I have the tower portion of this built. Again, I repainted that red and black. I think it looks pretty sharp. I also painted all the rungs on the ladder black to match for the rope ladder. The top portion, it was silver gray, so I painted that all black. Put a nice coat of black on that as well. The ATV vehicle, all the decals are on and ready including my drone on back. Now I'm still waiting for that one piece that goes here from Mr. Jim Egner. Should be in the mail this week, and then I can finish this project. Over here I have the top portion of the tower. Again, I'm waiting for the decals from Greg Brown. Those will go on the inside here, as well as here. Then I can finish the top portion. This piece here, along with the radar piece, which goes here. Those are 3D printed from Mr. Brad Curry. Um, again, this is the, uh, the, the prop uh, Atomic Man helicopter portion that was just slightly too big to fit in the hooks that um, was made for the rack system from Mr. Sean Huckster. So Jim Egner's making me a new one, a little bit shorter. I appreciate that, sir. So this is all coming together, I think, by this weekend, if I get the decals in, as well as the uh, piece from Jim, we should be able to start filming. I have my one, two, three, four, five boxed figures that go with this play set, which is going to be all, as you can see, Baron Ironblood and his crew. So I will take pictures on the tower with that and then place those decals on the front of these boxes and we should be, should be done with this project. So I just finished up these short videos. If you haven't seen them already, they are on Facebook as well as YouTube. But these are the five figures that I made, custom figures to go with the Red Shadows Army. And as you can see here, this is the Red Shadows Helo Pack Scramble, Scramble Pilot. And that is using the Huckster Labs uh, Helipack that he sent me. Also the Risk Communicator, the 
Next figure I did was the Red Shadows Long Range Recon. It's more of a sniper guy. Again, the decals I had uh, Hector make those for me like he made the other ones. And if you're wondering, this logo here is a newer Red Shadows logo. And that was made by Skeletron, I believe. And I apologize to him for using it. I didn't realize it was a custom that he had done. So I did contact him and uh, from now on, from here on in, I was using the, uh, the real Red Shadows. I guess this is the original one from when they started in the 80s. So if you're gonna make your own, make sure you contact him and get his permission before using this uh, logo here. The Demolition Specialist. Majority of the outfits I bought from Cotswold Collectibles. So especially this one here, the Baron Ironblood himself. This is the Huckster Labs, uh, I call it a laser light cannon. The Red Shadows Officer finished out the five figures that I made. That is the drop canister there from, again, Huckster Labs. If you didn't see the video I made with an interview with Sean Huckster, make sure you check that out on my live stream. Now let me show you the finished product of the tower as well as the AT. So here is the ATV conversion that I did for the Red Shadows. I got the decals again from Hector. Great guy, he'll hook you up. Just tell him what you need. Of course, the 788. If you're familiar with the, uh, the Hiss tank, you'll know what the uh, 788 is. Again, this rack system is made from Huckster Labs. The helicopter portion up here though, that was made from Jim Egner and he makes repos of the Atomic Man helicopter and that fits nicely into the uh, these pegs that are made by Huckster to go into his rack system. This rack system came with the, um, you can see here the drone and those clip in there nicely. Of course the drone has its own comms. And like all of Sean's 3D printed items, they came with a blueprint sheet. This is for the rack system, which is here. And this one here has a hinge system on it, so it actually lifts up. And I bought a Pelican case, which fits perfect in the bottom. Again, the Red Shadows logo. And this was, uh, you can get this on Etsy and on eBay from uh, again, that was also from Hector, who did the logos. And that's, that's my finished product there. The uh, decals, I believe I got those from uh, Cotswold Collectible. And I'm also waiting on one more decal from Cotswold to go on the tower. And here is the training tower. Again, I repainted the orange to red, did the center selection in black. I thought that'd be cool to have a little not all red or not all black. The top tower portion, and I'm missing some clips here, so you can see some daylight through there, but there's a couple of clips missing or broke, and uh, I should have looked into that before I started painting it, but um, all in all, I think it looks great. Repainted these from silver to black. Put a little caution tape on the end here. The uh, Didn't need much repair at all to the uh, crane system or the uh, cable system, the slide system. Now this 3D printed item here came from Mr. Brad Curry. This is the radar along with this safety bar here. This is from Brad Curry. He is also on Etsy at Be Active Toys, so check him out. Again, the only thing I'm waiting for on this is the decals. Now there's somebody that makes decals. This did not normally come with decals, but they made decals to go around the console up here. So I'm waiting for a set of those from Cotswall Collectible. Yeah, just taking a quick look at this side. Again, I put a flag of the uh, Red Shadows, a decal made by Hector. I did the newer decals on the sides. And then finally, we have another one of the rack system. Now this is the rack system with the hooks for the tower. Again, this is a 
another Sean Huckster 3D printed item. So yeah, I got a lot of items from a lot of different people. Jim Ed Edgar, Brad Curry, Sean Huckster, Cotswold Collectibles. And uh, this is my final, final video for this project. Gave me a little something to do over the last month, putting it all together. Hope you guys liked it, enjoyed it. Hopefully I'll be doing a photo story in the near future with all these and with the figures. As always, thanks for watching and keep on collecting.